what's up everybody so this song is going to be in double drop d tuning which means that you're going to drop your low e string down to a d and you drop the high e string to a d okay so you're going to have d a d g b d okay so this song just came out a couple days ago so i don't know if he's playing it in double drop d or just regular drop d tuning um it kind of sounds like double drop D, so that's uh, how I'm going to show it to you guys. Alright guys, so to jump right into it, the first part's going to sound like this. Okay, so that's the intro. So first we're going to have uh, be starting out with a D chord, which is going to be 2nd fret G string, 3rd fret B string, and you're going to leave the high E string open. Okay, so you're going to hit the low E string to start, and then do a couple little strums, and then you're going to do this hammer on onto the 2nd fret G string. Okay, but you're kind of strumming the the top like three or four strings so it's okay so after you do the hammer on you're gonna do a couple more little strums and then you're gonna hammer on onto the third fret a string okay so again it looks like this from the beginning You hammer on to the third fret A string, you do a couple more little strums, and then it's gonna go. Okay, so that's gonna be the third fret low E string. You're gonna hammer on from open, and then do a pull off, so it's. And then you're gonna go back to the third fret low E, and then open low E. Okay, so it's like that. Okay, and through this whole intro that I'm showing you guys, I'm still fretting this D chord. So I still have 3rd fret B and 2nd fret G the whole time, okay? So this is how it looks from the beginning all together. On the third time that he goes through, he's gonna go. Instead of doing the open low E, he's gonna hit the third fret low E again. Okay, so it's gonna be. Okay, so you're gonna do the low E string, third fret, do a couple of little strums, and then slide to the seventh fret low E back to open. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, so after you go from the third low E, seventh, and then open, then he's gonna kind of pick through that D chord, so it's gonna sound like this. So that's going to be low E string, D, G, B, G, D. Okay, I like that. He's going to do it twice. And then it's going to go into like the verse, which is going to sound like this. So we're pretty much doing the same thing. We're going to be picking through the, the chord, that D chord. So it's going to be open D, and then D, G, B, G, 
G, D. And then you're going to do that hammer on again to the third fret, A. And then after you do the hammer on, you're going to hit the D and G string. And then you're going to do that riff. And then you do it again. Third time. Back to the third fret. Instead of open, you're hitting the third fret again. Okay, so I'm going to play everything from the beginning just so you can kind of see where we're at. So after sliding from the 3rd to the 7th, and then when you go back to open, he's going to strum like a full D chord. Again, it's just the 2nd fret G, 3rd uh, fret B. Okay, then it just holds on that for a little bit, and then it's going to go... Which is 3rd fret and 2nd fret on the low E string. You're starting on the 3rd on the fret, it's going to be 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, open. Okay, then he goes right back into the verse where he's picking through, so it's... Okay, so he goes through the verse again, Goes from the third to the seventh to open. He picks through the chord again. And then he does this little riff. It's just three, two, open on the low E. And then he goes back into the verse again. So then it's going to go through another verse, and then the next part is going to sound like this. Coming out of this part. So what you're doing is you're going to do 3, 2 on the low E string again. And then you're going to slide to the 8th fret. And you're just going to do a power chord, which is the low E string and the A string. You're going to strum both, both of those strings. Okay, so it's going to go 8th to the 5th to the 10th. And then you do it again. right back to open low E on the third after the third time. So after that part guys it goes back into another verse and that's pretty much all the guitar parts besides the solos which I'm not gonna cover in this uh, lesson. Um, but uh yeah that's pretty much all the guitar parts. I hope uh, the lesson helped you guys listen to the song so you could kind of piece it all together and play along with it. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do for more lessons coming up. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.